I'm going to try mouse controls for like one very short not round. Okay. I don't know if I like that. I like controllers. That's fine. Well, this was fun. Thanks for watching everybody. And uh let's go let's go play some Devil May Cry. It should be ready. Better be ready. What do you mean it's not ready? It's it's time. All right, screw it. Another round of Nova Drift. If it ain't ready, then we just keep playing Nova Drift, and I'll just check every once in a while. I think I know what I'm going to do. So last time we did Blades. Oh, no. I didn't reset my controls. Uh, buh, 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 buh. We want to do keyboard. I'm not even using keyboard here. Hmm. Restart stream? Or Steam, I had to. Well, I said we we're going to do one more round of Nova Drift. I'm going to keep to my word, even if I want to go play some DMC. Let's, let's do this while we're here. I don't know. I like this game too much. I'm like, I'm interested in Devil May Cry. But I'm really here for, for Nova Drift. No, I'm not even really. Okay, so what are we going to do? I'm going to do... Do we do shotgun? No. We're doing grenade. This is going to be a weird build. Okay, and then we're going to do engineer. This is a long con build. I like that new art for the, the grenade. It looks great. Way less punchy on the ears, too. Do we do Amp, Halo, Warp? Actually, we do Bastion. And we gotta get Mines. This is kind of, like I said, a bit of a long con. Okay. So, allies just get spit out. That's a good feeling. So, freedom dispenser build. That's what I was thinking, yeah. Okay, let's get drones. The more just basic uh, constructs I can get out, the better. I'm not going to go down the drone upgrade path yet. But... This should be, this should be fine. I hope, I hope it is. Okay, elegant construction, always. Uh, let's see, shielded con constructs? I don't, it might be a bit early. Let's go magnitude. Okay. Retribution payload. I don't actually... It increases the blast radius. It definitely does. Man, I really like that art for the explosions. It looks it looks so much better than it did previously. Okay, there's loaded mines. So the freedom dispenser is halfway built. You know, I do kind of wish that there was an upgrade that made mines slightly homing. Or if mines were actually affected by targeting. That'd be kind of rad, actually. I have taken a bunch of damage. I should probably get some healing. Uh, You wanna... There it is. Okay, so it actually doesn't look like the loaded mines really explode out. As much as I was hoping they would. We gotta get... We gotta get some, um... Some other things. We could do Splinter, but let's get Charge Shot. I don't really need it. But I might as well. Splinter is probably a good idea. What 
What I want, though, is multi-shot so we can actually have um, more mines. Sort of? Uh, we should probably we should probably go up the uh let's see because I don't want to do volley let's do nanotech reconstruction because I want my allies to be uh dispensing freedom just as much as I I do maybe some other things oh that health bar is gonna be nice. That's going to be real nice. Because, yeah, now there's no more guessing with a lot of the uh, the mid-boss type enemies. Uh, let's see. Let's grab some velocity, just so I have some extra range here. I really want to try a super grenade build with Rancor. Just to see what kind of nonsense I can I can get up to. Just because. I don't know. I after the ICBM build, I, I've always wanted to uh I've always wanted to like screw around with Rancor and a couple other weapons. I'm hoping I'm hoping we get some interesting mutations and stuff in the future. Cause I'd love I'd love to see some more like goofy nonsense. With builds. With some of the more, like, exciting weaponry. Grab my gibs before, before they go away. There we go. Okay, what do we grab? Snipe? Snipe. Don't care too much about homing. Probably? No, I probably should. Let's see, I'm still craving seeing a Dying Sun build. Seems so tough to find the right combination to make it work. You missed it, man. Uh, pay attention in... Oh, jeez. It, it might be tomorrow's YouTube video, actually. Uh, that's straight up just a Dying Sun video. Uh, uh, Dying Sun build. And it is actually by far the best build I've ever run. It is grossly overpowered. And I didn't even have a functional gun for that build. I straight up turned off my guns. And what do you know? It actually worked incredibly well. There we go. But yeah, it'll be like an hour long or something. Because I went, I went like nearly to uh, wave 100 or something crazy. Or no, not wave 100, wave 200. I got real close. And everything died. I think the only reason why I ended up dying was just because I... Was I too slow? I think it was one of those where Hubris ended up killing me. Or my own build. Uh, more than anything else. But it was nuts. Yeah, let's grab. Let's grab this. Let's see, what gun am I running now? This is grenade. It's a heavily charged grenade. Uh, usually when I go, uh, when I do grenade builds, I, I do multi-shot. I don't know if I'm going to do that with this one. I might. Haven't decided. Uh, let's do rapid fire. Charge it faster. Please stop missling me in the butt. That is the hurt hurtful thing to do. Okay. I gotta actually take the, uh, the missile goons seriously. There we go. So what do we grab? Ranger? Yeah, we want Ranger. Yeah, this will probably be fine. Do we not have the... No, 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 we do. Okay, well, I got, got to give it credit. My landmines are ridiculous. Let's see. Unfortunately, drone builds are extremely... Well, this kind of drone build, especially, are extremely needy parts-wise. So I usually end up... Uh, 
building... I'm not going to say building myself badly, but if you notice, I have one survivability-related perk. Uh, let's grab the whole strength at the very least. The other problem I have with this game is, like, it really is the toad and boiling water uh, effect. Where effectively you just go... You just go until, like, it's too hot for you, and th at that point you're already boiling. And there's nothing you can do about it. It's, uh... I'm not gonna say it's embarrassing, but it is, uh... Well... There's only so much I can do about it, too. Because my own human nature is just to put off uh, defensive measures until later. Let's see. Probably want Calibrate, considering. Seems like a good idea. Okay, self-destruction? Yes. Because I, I am using landmines here. That's kind of helpful. Okay, let's get away from Shumbus. You know what would actually be a cool synergy? If uh, Bastion on the broadsider actually duplicated, you had two of them. That'd actually be really cool. Maybe a little overpowered. Maybe? Okay. Owie. Owie. Oh. Okay, just survive, and I think the black hole is just going to get him. I'd like the bits. But, uh... Yeah, not surviving that one. I kind of dig Bastion for some of these. Because, uh, normally... Normally when, like, those enemies bounce into you, it, it really hurts. But the Bastion can take it. I We'll have to try some kind of battering ram build someday. Uh, do we do blast radius? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of irresponsible not to with a grenade build. I just do too much damage. Uh, in an explosion to... To not. My train! My train! Okay, uh, high explosive? Heck yeah. That is a big boom. Hello. Is he dead? He is dead. Yeah. I gotta give it credit. It's a fun build. I haven't bothered with homing yet. People got mad at me for how much I, like, relied on homing in the beginning of the series. Which is entirely fair. <laughs> entirely fair. Uh, no. I could do Juggernaut for a little bit of extra survivability. Rupture would be interesting. Got one more reroll. Make it count? Doesn't count. Yeah, we just straight up haven't seen integrated weaponry go by. Frustrating. I guess let's grab reinforced drones. And once we get the defensive drones, then I'll give him the Bastion. Let's see. I wonder... Now that I'm thinking about it, the explosive constructs, I wonder if that, if that counts... And how well that counts for, uh... How well that counts for... For Bastion. Like, can you get it in such a way that you're strapping, like, the highest of explosives to your ship? Because I kind of want to test that someday. Just the, uh, the boomstick on a stick run. Okay. That's a pretty... 
big... Oh, no. Oh, wow. We just waltz straight past that. Ow. 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 Okay, is it dead? No. God damn it. The sucker hurts. Oh, let's grab absorption. I desperately need it at this point. Let's see. Ouch. Okay. Short reprieve and then suck. Because this guy hurts. Okay, get away from his booty. At least I've got some big booms, so most of his... Most of his really powerful explosives aren't ever going to reach me anyway. And we're good. Okay. Not so bad. Uh, do we grab Ranker? Hell yeah. Gotta get that big boom. Ah, uh, missed. Missed almost completely, too. It's rough. Maybe I should get a little bit of homing here. Oh, boy. The amount of oomph I've got is tremendous. The amount of oof. I'm taken, though. Also, tremendous. Uh, force armor? Hell yeah, force armor. I'll probably pick up Juggernaut, too, just because. Ow. Did I? What? Uh... Can we get a replay on that? Let's see that again, because I don't think I've ever died that fast, and I was pretty close to full health. I think, uh, so for those of you on YouTube, uh, if you didn't go back and slow-mo watch it, effectively I got punched through six teeny-weeny bullets all at once. Leading to an instant death. Uh, I think to some degree the damage should probably drop off. Because one of the things I've noticed is sometimes they're small enough that I, I just assume they're gone. When I start passing through their square. But they I think they keep their full damage up until the, the point when they die. You know what? Let's do a dying star run. See if I can uh, replicate that. But without... Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe without giving up my weapon? Because last time I gave up my weapon entirely. Maybe we should do something else. Uh, alternatively, Architect, Antimatter, and Flak Mines. Sure. Uh, probably with Railgun? You can't do Dying Star Mines, unfortunately. That would be cool. But yeah, let's take that. Uh, Chimeric, what, what weapon? Because... Oh, Flak. Flax an actual gun. There we go. Okay. Sorry. Brain. Uh, what shield? Yeah, flak mines is flak. Sorry, wasn't braining. Uh, I, when I think flak, I actually think just shotgun. And... Hmm. Do we do halo? Let's do halo. Just to give me something a little bit extra here. Okay, so we need mines. You gotta remind me what uh, antimatter rounds requires again. I... That's one of the ones I don't generally go for.
Let's grab a little bit of regeneration just because. Last couple runs have been uh, skunked because of lack of durability. Well, that last one, I'm not sure if there's much I could have done with. Done with it. Let's see. Okay, payload and concentrated blast. Okay, perfect. Let's see. I wonder if I could do, like, a charge shot Rancor with it, as well as just to offset the, uh... I also want, f uh, full of Sade with the build. Okay. Because I know do I do, I, ah. I know I did, uh, anti-matter rounds with, uh, with an intercept- with interceptors loaded out with, uh, was it rail guns? That was really effective. Dragons are punchy. I don't like them. Uh, let's see. Blast radius? Yeah, let's go for the blast radius. The sooner we can get anti-matter rounds, the better. <laughs> I do like the little, uh, firecrackers. They're effective. And I feel so fast. It's satisfying. Okay, so what else we grab? Do I want Splinter? I don't... I don't actually know if I want Splinter. We want Volatile Shields, always. That one... That one's just handy. And yeah, we definitely have to do C4 on a stick build at some point. Which is like a Volatile Shield Bastion Hullbreaker run? I'm not entirely sure how that would uh, pile down. See, I wouldn't... I wouldn't do... What, Volatile Shields? Or, oh no. Well, that was quick. I was hoping I could kill them before they uh, popped up. Okay, let's try that again. Maybe I'll try something a little bit more durable. Though, Halo... Halo is one of the better, like, mid-range shields. I just have to not play dumb. Let's do Flak again. Wanda, how did you do that? I was trying to, uh, I was trying to shoot the guy. I was lining up the shot, and I, uh, I thought I had enough time, uh, to, like, shoot him before he started shooting at me. Because those guys are real weenie when you do a bunch of damage to them, but, uh, didn't work out that way. Do we grab warp? Let's grab warp. Uh, let's see, temporal might be good for the shield. Uh, sort of? So... I think I'm gonna do warp just to get out of there, maybe? Cause I, I am kind of bad at, uh, underestimating danger. That's one of my major faults with this game. Is that, you know, a lot of times I'm so used to just destroying certain enemies. You know, I almost shouldn't do auto mines now that I'm thinking about it. Maybe. Auto mines are nice, but I can't time them. Whereas if I have two mines loaded up, I can actually cycle through them. Let's grab shield cooldown. Cause yeah, I can I can drop the mine right on my spot. Let's see, do we do blast radius? No, self destruction. Yeah. Let's see, auto mines with something that isn't flak is probably ideal. Yeah. Volatile shields. We should probably do magnitude. Rapid fire? Maybe? No, in retrospect, rapid fire is mainly a me thing. Works kind of counterintuitive to... Well, it'll be helpful for this part.
Okay. What do we grab? We don't need speed. Honestly, we don't need any of these. Let's do blast radius. Does blast radius affect mines? I hope I certainly hope it does. Let's see. Let's see if I can push him into it. There we go. Let's see. Not your mines, but your flak shots. Yeah. I was just kind of hoping it would, uh, it would work on the... The mines as well. Just because. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Do we grab... No. We want Concentrated Blast, though. Oh. Wow. He died in a hurry. Uh, let's see. Do we have... Oh, we don't have Regeneration yet. That's a staple. I'm just gonna bully this guy with flag shots. Yeah, we'll work on the Armed Mines... Uh, at least. But, no, it, I I guess I'm just always hoping it's like, well, maybe, maybe I can, like, really make a big boom if I get this, this combo going. Uh, let's see. Depth of armor, shield effect, radius, nah, none of these. Payload, though, yeah. Always payload. High explosive, no, let's grab shield durability. There we go. If I change loaded mines to yellow slash red hex and give it a weapon tag, it would be allowed to do that. Interesting. I wonder if... I wonder, uh... How moddable this game will be in the end. Because that would be kind of a cool thing. Do we grab the antimatter rounds already? Sure. Okay, so I gotta be careful, because that's a lot of damage when I fire. And we don't have the loaded mines yet. Oh, because I don't have retribution. Like a moron. Okay, because we, we gotta get retribution. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to get loaded mines. Okay, just got to be careful. Then we'll be okay. It's going to take him out. Can't do more than this, really. You can tell I'm getting tired because I'm not driving right. That boy ain't driving right. That boy ain't right. Ugh. Okay, gotta be continuously careful. Loaded mines! That's the trick. And at this point... I'm kind of okay. I gotta get charge shot. Or like calibrate or something. Or some other tricks. Okay. Now we uh well, we got rid of the other guy. Now it's just the now it's just the missiles. Okay, high explosive? Yeah. And then we might also want, like, Snipe. Or Charge Shot. Okay. It's a bit of an odd build. Ah. 
I was really hoping I could uh, landmine him properly. Get corrosive or burning shot. Yeah, probably. Okay. My Gibbs. Well, I can get him that way. Drop some mines. I just have to make sure I don't hurt myself too bad here. Uh, let's see. Flash shielding? No. Hull strength is nice. It's more regen. Probably get these landmines out of here. I'm still in Danger Town. Sort of? It's an interesting build. I'm digging it. I'm digging where it's going. I just have to not be... I need some more experimentation. Okay. Still in Danger Town, but you can kind of bait the enemies. It's not so bad. Okay. And yeah, full estate might do me good. Yeah, no, probably would. Let's see. Let's do calibrate, though. Because I don't, I don't actually fire that often. Especially if I actually use my mines properly. There we go. Hey, DMT. Five is finally done. Ooh. These guys are hurty. Oh god. Ah, damn it. Okay, got it. I was really hoping I could do tricks. Follow me. Follow me into the extreme blasting zone. That does some damage. Oh, there's a missile man. A missile in man. You can tell he doesn't really know where to go with himself. Uh, let's see. Incendiary strike might not be a bad idea. Where's. Grab absorption. Because I'm going to be taking some damage. Angbage. I gotta give it credit. I, I gotta try this again with an ally run. Uh, with just probably engineer. Just to, uh, just to see what the... What the ridiculous interceptor combo would do. I don't think I have snipe yet either. You're not the kind of person I want to be around right now. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give it a clear pass. Just let him, let him do his thing. Hang out near his butt. Wait to get bounced off by something else. Damn it. Hello. It is effective. And that is why I figured I'd go warp. Because if I get uh, wrecked like last run, it might not be as much of a problem. Oh, God damn. My strike through is not working for me there. There we go. Oh, you're a bad. Oh, you're a bad. I was just taking too much damage. I took anti-matter rounds too too soon, and well, the damage was appreciated. It was it was more than enough to well wreck me in the end.